Hello YouTube, family, friends, and subscribers. That's a Chinese diesel, 2600 RPM. I may try to find a new injector for it. It's for this off-grid system for a friend. And it was put in 25 years ago. And when I came up here today, none of the batteries were balanced. Uh, they had two chargers here, but they were only using one. So I've got 80 amps going on the batteries now, and for whatever reason, they were pulling their tap going up to the house from the middle of the batteries here, rather than taking it diagonally across the batteries. So I got rid of some unnecessary jumpers that weren't doing anything, and I'm cleaning up some terminals and still trying to figure out where some of this stuff goes. I mean, this right here is uh, 12 volts, those two wires right there, and they're not protected. There's no fusing anywhere. There's a power panel coming down from the Jenny, and there's no cover on it. So I'm going to see if I can sanitize this for the folks and <coughs> see what I can do to make it work a little bit better for them. And it's often in the snow up here and difficult to get to. There are some solar panels out back. I think there's four 55 waters. They're 25 years old. So I'll see if I can get this to work. When I came up yesterday, the batteries were at 10.1 volts, which is cataclysmic, especially at 17 degrees this morning. So we ran the Jenny last night just for a couple hours to try to save them. And when I came back this afternoon, 24 hours later, uh, they were at 11.6. So now I've got it set up where I can put 80 amps on them through these two chargers and see if I can get them up somewhere close and if they keep giving me trouble I'm gonna to have to disconnect each battery out of the bank and check the resistance on each one uh, two of them I can check the specific gravity the rest I can't there maybe I can pry the tops off of those or something there may have 2013 so they should still be alive but if they've been taking them down to 10 volts on a regular basis they're so 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 sulfated really the only thing we could do is just put big amps on them and work these batteries day after day after day but first we got to get them as full as they can get and then maybe take 10 percent off of them and then put 80 amps on them again and do that over and over again and see if we can desulfate some of those plates but they've been running the generator about an hour every day and uh, once a week they pump water up to their gravity feed tank and they've been doing it that way for 25 years off grid so say what you want about the condition of stuff up here uh, they worked down the mountain six days a week for 25 years and didn't have a whole lot of time to work on stuff so I'm going to see if I can help out some They've been really good folks to me over the years. So have a very, very blessed day. And oh, by the way, this is one of these places where they really don't want me to talk about where they live. They don't want an interview. I'm not gonna vi videotape the house or the property or anything. It's one of those people that, you know, they live off grid and they're private because that's the way they want to be. And I don't blame them, that's fine. Uh, I'm not that way. I don't care who comes up to the house. I'll show them around. At any rate, have a very blessed day.